It sounds like West Texas. It sounds like Robert and Kurt on the drive. 20 minutes away from the top of the hour at News Talk 550 KCRS. I promise you, I said we're going to talk about water, and we are. A company called Water Rescue Services uh, touched base with us uh, a couple weeks ago and had an interesting story idea, and and it's one that uh, pops up out here from time to time. Various folks uh, ask, and folks who I visit with from around the country will, will ask me one way or another because we do, uh, well, we do, I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but uh, Midland Odessa is pretty... Uh, Pretty much in the oil business. Mm-hmm. Pretty heavily engaged it's, in fracking. It's uh, it, Word's getting around. And so from that, fracking has also come up. And uh, they always ask if they're calling from out of state somewhere. They say, well, so you got, what, how are you guys doing this? Is it fracking? Yeah. You're using so much water. Yeah, it's fracking. And uh, so how's that working for you? Well, of course, out here, they also understand that, that water is kind of a, a pretty valuable resource. Wes Williams is the president of the company Water Rescue Services. They are an oil service company, and they are working in the area, uh, specifically with uh, Faskin Oil. Is that right? Uh, Faskin Oil is one of our customers, yes. Customers, uh, and you have some other folks you said down in Rankin. Uh, Rankin. We're working out in Rankin and also uh, out over in Artesia, New Mexico. But we've got, uh, got a pretty big operation mm-hmm. uh, out in the Gardendale area uh, here. Wes is, uh, Wes is with uh, yeah. is the president of the company Water Rescue Services, and I guess uh, so. You brought you actually brought I, us some. I, uh, I am surmising that what you're doing is you're reclaiming water that's been used in fracking and, and giving the companies the ability to reuse the existing water supply. Yeah, actually, the water that you're the two let vials. Just, that, yeah, see if you can the, pull up a shot on this. With, uh, uh, with you've got there in front of you, the uh, the darker yeah. water is yeah, water that uh, comes straight. Back on a flow back or or produced water, we, yeah. we actually do both. For our radio fans, I don't think I want to walk. this looks like the bottom of the creek. Okay, I don't want to drink this that. Looks like. yeah. and and this looks like the bottom of the creek. And that's yes. not fish poop. That yeah. no, sir. no, <laughs> no <laughs> sir, it's not. Yeah. Actually, uh, that water is what, like I say, what we start with, what we get back. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, I think on TV you can tell yeah, it's, you can, it's yeah, very you can brackish. TV. It's yeah, very it's, uh, black. It's it's not anything you want to drink. No, looks like you've suspended charcoal in it. And then you see there, you can see on the bottom, uh, the, 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 this trash, so mm-hmm. to speak, yeah. heavy metals and, yeah. and all the suspended solids. Now this is after your service gets after a hold of it. After our is process. It? And you can see it looks like uh, drinking water. Yeah. So you, Above you, it, it's, it's nice and clear. But you can actually take out that sediment in the back then. Yes, that, that sediment drops out. And basically, that's, that's the only thing that goes off t- as waste. So, uh, give me an example. But then you can reuse the water. We can reuse it. The water that he's got in his hand there yeah. is water that we have recycled before and has been used on a frack job, and now we're recycling that water again. So, there's multiple times that we can recycle this water. Um, a great thing, too, in addition to the, the millions of gallons that we save uh, is fresh water. Yeah. Uh, fresh water. Uh, also, an issue that people don't talk about too much is the trucking. Um, there's hundreds of trucks daily that go to the water we, to the we, uh, saltwater we, disposal well. We're we've, very familiar we've heard with about those. That too. All right, yes, anyway. all right. Well, yeah. think about this. With this system that we use, for every hundred trucks that would normally go to a saltwater disposal well, uh-huh. you only need three to five because oh, really? all we're hauling off. We're gonna we're gonna save about ninety five percent to ninety seven ninety eight percent of the water. That that we take in, yeah. we'll recycle so that they can use it over. Now the stuff that's in the bottom of the jar, that's that's the sediment here. What is that comprised of? Oh, there's there's heavy metals. Uh-huh. Um, Any know, gold in there? Uh, Any I wish. For gold if there was gold, we would uh, <laughs> platinum, we would uranium. Out, we'd, yeah. we'd be pulling it back uh, out. There's nothing in gold. in that waste <clears throat> that that's that's unsafe to go to a saltwater disposal well or or to a, a landfill. Yeah. Depending on how we um, what our customer wants. We can either keep it in a slurry and keep it wet enough so that it can go to an SWD, or uh, they can make it into a cake and take it off to a solid landfill. Oh, and great! Yeah, it's it's a pretty neat process. Hmm. So uh, again, they can use they can use that water over and over again, and yeah. it, it's perfect for fracking. And something else that they found out out here in the Permian Basin is that taking that native water. That you know was in the ground. The, the produced water has with. been in the ground for millions of years. Yeah. Um, they take that water and have found that uh, the clays, when they use this native water, don't expand like they would with fresh water. So their initial production rates have even rose in certain areas. So Goodness. it's it's really a, a hmm. 
win-win situation yeah, in a lot really of ways. Is. So we're saving water. We're so, keeping trucks off the road. I'm sorry. Well, I was going to ask. So is this a is this a is it a cost issue or an environmental issue? Depends on where you are. It's it's regional. In the okay. northeast, we do a lot of business up in the up in the Marcellus. In the plenty of water. They got plenty of water. Yeah. They do. But we're in Pennsylvania, up in the northeastern part of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. They do not allow saltwater disposal wells in Pennsylvania. So they have to truck that water to Ohio. Yeah. And so they're looking at about 16 hours round trip to truck the water. And it's, it's costing them between $15 and $18 a barrel just to throw the water away. So recycling, even though they have fresh water, is a viable option up there because of the money they save on the trucking. Wow. Down here, it's it's just a lack of water. So this this process, it, it sounds to me like a humongous RO system. Well, <laughs> is it? <laughs> this water is so nasty, it would plug an RO system up in minutes. Would um, it really? Yeah, you, it won't work. We so use a process called electrocoagulation. Uh -huh. What we do is we take the water and we pass it through a reactor core that we've. It's a proprietary. Patented. Patented. We yeah. have two patents. Yeah. Um, it's a proprietary system that takes the water and as it flows through the system we put a charge on it and there's certain metallurgy that's inside those reactor cores that surrender small particles of metal and they're positively charged and the negatively charged particles in the water mm -hmm. attract to that and it starts to, to coagulate and form a flock. Hmm. And as Drops that to the bottom. exactly you sounds like a humongous a magnet. No, yeah, it sounds yeah. like a humongous magnet. Yeah, it's what it's it's kind of gravity wow. is our magnet in this instance. Man, that is just so remarkable. It drops to the bottom, and then they can use that water over and over and over again. And on this one location, we're saving over twelve million gallons of water a month. Man, on one location in the debris in the bottom of this jar. Would there be anything in there that would be? I mean, that looks like really black, really. Would that be good nutrients for plants or for gardens? No, it's, or it's, no, it's no, not? not really. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it just needs to go away. It needs to go away. Yeah. It's just nasty. Um, I mean, there's nothing that's going to hurt anybody. Or yeah. Anything, but it just, yeah. it, 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 has, it no, has no use. No purpose. Right. Okay. Right. Wow. This is, uh, how long have you guys been doing this, Wes? We started three years ago. We were kind of one of the, it's a very embryonic industry, and we were, we were one of the first to, uh, to, uh, you guys are you, you guys are based in Fort Worth. We're right? based in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. uh, we have operations in the Marcellus, uh, here in the Permian, the Eagleford, uh, Colorado, getting ready to move into West Virginia. You, you, it was interesting. I think you said that each um, each location has their own different uh, purposes and reasons. Of course, here in West Texas, a we have a shortage of water, and and just the expense. And then the, and then here in the, in the immediate Midland Odessa area, we're running into this uh, problems. Just trucks on the road all the time yeah. eating up the roads eating up traffic and, and these guys are on tight schedules so well they, they are, are and, they and are hauling it text dot has has contacted us because the way that text dot figures the way the state figures taxes and things like that for mm -hmm. roads are, are what they call ton miles and ton miles are, are how they calculate how roads are torn up and you know all, all that issue and um, when you look at the amount of ton miles, it, it runs in the hundreds of millions of ton miles. When you can take a you know ninety five percent of the trucks off the road, mm -hmm. you know wow. um, it, it it really It'll adds up. It'll be a real relief to the counties too. Well, it is, and even even the landowners, the the stakeholders. Um, we work on. We've been on a ranch down in the Eagleford in South Texas for almost three years, and. We're keeping about twelve to thirteen thousand trucks uh, a year off that ranch. Well, yeah. but, but there's a cost to the company. Uh, for you, know, you mentioned Faskin there in town that, yes. that's using the service. So there's, a, there's a cost to the to the to the company Faskin that for trucking, right? And then there's of course the cost for water, right? Uh, but to be able to, so what do you do? Do you haul this around from site to site? If you yes, that's the beauty this? of this thing. It's a mobile system. Um, uh, we we. <clears throat> Presently, we were set up out there on a, on a saltwater disposal well, and instead of the water going down to the disposal well never to be seen again, mm -hmm. we process it and then send it out to a frack job. We just pipe it across, you know, to one of the frack jobs. But we can be, there's other instances where we may be on a six well pad for three months, and then we just pick up and move. This so, is so very mobile. So you're basically recycling water, fresh water, initially, fresh water is used to frack a well. Yes. Is that correct? All yes. right. And then you bring that back up. Yes. And that's that's the stuff that we see here in uh, jar A, if you will. And, yes. uh, and and then you 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 go through the process with that. It, does your process would it work as a? I mean, 
Would it work on brine? Would it work on brine water? Would it work on well, something Well, that else? is brine water. That, that is that, brine. Yes, so, the chlorides uh, remain in the it, water. But you can't get oh, okay. it to drinkable. Is that the point? No, no, no. no we can't no. get it to drinkable. Well, actually, it could in the be Barnett, an intermediate we, step. In the, in the Barnett, we have gotten it to that point. Really? Really? We have. I mean, there's other steps that we had to do. Sure. Yeah. But you don't need to get the water that clean to use for fracking. No. Well, so yeah, drinking, we get it we clean do. enough. You, you, you know, there's an economic delta. Well, we're, we're trying delta. to figure out how to get more water, period, out here. So well, trying I'm trying to, to save you some, been, guys. I yeah, I know. And that's, that'll <laughs> be a yeah. big yeah. relief if we can save some that we currently have. Because we're, <clears throat> we're to the point where we're working off groundwater supplies. Oh, I know. And, and, and that's what the oil companies are working off of. Right. And, and Faskin, I, I must say, take a second to say something about Faskin. They, their goal and, and they're, they're there, basically, is mm -hmm. to not use any fresh water in their operation. Man. The work that we do for them right now, they use 100% recycled water in the area that we're in mm -hmm. for their frack jobs. They so economically, mm -hmm. this makes sense for your clientele? Yes. Um, when you look at what they pay for fresh water, what they pay to truck the water, and what they pay to, to dispose of the water, mm -hmm. It, the delta's getting closer. Oh, I mean, that's it's excellent. working really well. And, that's and without, good. without dragging government interference into this, <laughs> the, the next question is going to come up is, well, why aren't oil companies required to do this kind of thing? There was some legislation which... And know, I'm not, I, not big on legislating things, but... Correct. There was some legislation in the last session that got shot down. And I must say to all the oil companies, we had nothing to do with that because if, if you know, I can't... Yeah. Be involved in a mandate. I mean, I'm, yeah. I mean that's not yeah. something yeah. you know. It would it would be good for our company, but we've yeah. not we've not pushed that. But uh, hmm. uh, there's there's a lot of talk about that maybe Wes, happening down the road. Wes, I've got to ask you, what's your background? The way that I got into this, business, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It, How'd right, you come the, up with this idea? The way that that this all happened is I live up in the up in Fort Worth, north of Fort Worth, on a ranch. The Barnett was pretty much developed on our place several years ago by a gentleman named George Mitchell. Mm -hmm. uh, they call him the grandfather of, of fracking. Okay. And um, they, they did a lot of the test work on our ranch and I got to know those folks very well. Years later, a company called Devon Energy uh, bought them out and they were still drilling some wells on the ranch and they came to me eight years ago wanting to do a water recycling project because we, we needed some water up there, mm -hmm. not only to drill on our ranch, but to drill around us. And um, they, uh, we, we struck a deal up. It was going to be a two year deal and it ended up going for three years. Well, about a year and a half into it, you know, all of a sudden the Wall Street Journal showing up at the ranch and mm -hmm. Smart Money Magazine and mm -hmm. Senators and, yeah. and bus, literally mm -hmm. buses of people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the, the system that, that they had back then was a more of a fixed operation. You still had all the trucks trucking water into me. It wasn't mobile. Oh, yeah. Right. And so, uh, looking at it, I just kind of figured this might be the future of this deal because, yeah. you know, like some of the guys at Faskin say well, out here, especially water is the new gold. Yes, I mean, it is. Without yeah, well, water, yeah. you can't yeah. really do this work. You can't so, do anything. Uh, so you got to yeah. have it, but then again, you got to be able to water your yard too. So Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Well, take I, a bath you, every you, now and, and then. then. And you could Ooh. still, well, it's brine water though, right? When it's over. Right. It's still yeah. brine, it's still so you brine. couldn't use it's it for any, okay. It's, it's, okay. It's I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, yeah. Right. Uh, the, trying to um, sell bottles of it in the lobby is what I'm trying to know. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. They're not going to have my name on it. <laughs> job it when you, Wes, when you talk about a, a mobile unit, yes, um, are we talking about multiple mobile units or one mobile unit well, at this there's, point there's in time? Well, there's a, uh, an <coughs> electrocoagulation or EC trailer uh -huh. that's there. It's a 24-foot trailer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and then there's... Some a couple of frack tanks, a few, a couple of weir tanks, and it's it's hmm. our whole footprint is is sixty by one hundred and ten, and we not can remote. That's not huge. Oh no, no no no, and and we can remobilize in a day. Do you have multiple cool. units? Do you send crews out to multiple locations? Oh yes, locations? we have crews all over uh, the it, Pennsylvania. Is, is this technology yeah. something that you intend? They're not quite McDonald's yet, but they're about to have several yeah. openings. <laughs> are, are you looking for the service <laughs> aspect of this? Or are you looking for sales of the equipment and then training for oil companies to be able to do this on their own? No, um, like I, I told you earlier, it's a proprietary idea, um, uh, patented, multi-patented. 
and we're a service company. Uh, okay. We've had a lot of companies want to buy the, the, bet the so. systems, yeah. but we operate, you know, our there, there's a lot to it. Mm. And so you, there's, you have to know a little chemistry, you have to know so do you have that chemistry background? I, I don't, but I have a partner. Know a guy who does. I know a guy. We know a guy. guy. We know a guy. We have a PhD chemist <laughs> yeah. that, that I've yeah. brought in. I, I want to hold this water up one more time. I know a guy who knows a guy yeah. This is this, this is what comes out of the overflow yeah. after a fracking yeah. job. Yeah. Correct. This is what would normally be have to be hauled to a saltwater yeah. disposal plant. Gone forever. This is the sediment <clears throat> at the bottom of the jar that's ultimately the, the good water above it's drained mm -hmm. off. So there's 95, 98% recovery. Hey, throw the whole camera on of that water. To, we're about to, we got to get a break yeah, anyway. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. No, the whole, the whole screen to you. Oh, oh the, the whole screen. The whole screen. Oh, okay. Well, let me take As that. if you were doing the news, Mr. Verlai. Right. You know right. what I'm talking about? Okay. I know. It's technical. It has text, yeah. Kurt. If you there's missed. after. There, there, there's there. before. And man, you can see the difference. I mean, it's it's vividly different even on our cameras, yeah. Robert. You got it. Wes, thanks for coming in. Wes, Thank you so much. Wes Williams, Water guys, Rescue really Services. And we're inside the morning drive on News Talk 550 KCRS.